we'll do is we're going to connect the Bluetooth. So we have to put a battery in it to make it work, right? So if you look over here, we have two batteries on the charger. There's a scale here to tell you how full they are. This one on this side is fully charged, so I'll take it. I only need the gray piece. Okay, so I imagine I would expect you to take a look at the charger, pull the battery out and in there, see how it works, you know, see how to make sure it's charged. Next step is to put a battery in the battery bay. Camera battery from Canon. You can buy these at uh, Batteries Plus Bulbs, Target, Walmart, Best Buy. There's a little place in here, and when you put it in, there's a couple grooves you gotta find, and it's kind of springy, so you gotta find that springy point right there, push down and, and forward to lock it in. And you can see it's on now, okay? So, there's a ritual or specific way to set up the nodder rail before we power it up. Every time you turn this off, full battery, every time. Here's out the Bluetooth connection. It'll help it connect better the next time you put the term on again. Okay. So this is without any power on. We're going to put the machine down here and have to hold this rear support bar. And we're going to turn it 90 degrees so the arm is out. It doesn't matter which side. As long as it's at 90 degrees. We're going to walk up this way. I'm going to loosen these. So on this down here, we have to just support this bar. We don't want to lift it. We want to remain where it is. It's at a neutral point right now. So all I want to do is bring this dial up and take the air gap out. I don't want to lift it. You can tell by doing this tap dance here. You can feel it getting solid. Vibrate a little bit and it'll get solid. And then just put the lock nut up the hole in there. That's all you have to do. Now, what that does, this bar knows how much movement is in it as that head travels down. It swoops. In order to keep that line straight, 